Welcome to the DLR webcast. Germany is contributing to remote sensing of the Earth in different ways. First of all, we have many institutions who are contributing, of course, the German Aerospace Center DLR, but also the Geoforschung Zentrum in Potsdam and Max Planck Institutes. And uh, we are contributing with different missions, especially, of course, with our uh, radar satellite mission Tandem and Terrasa X. With Terrasa X and Tandem X, we have two satellites which are flying in formation and which give us the opportunity to have a digital elevation model of the whole Earth. Uh, we are doing these experiments and these missions after we did already something together with, the, with NASA, the shuttle mission SRTM 2000, where we tested all these uh, procedures and now we have these two satellites which will give a very special contribution to the Earth observation by satellites. Of course, the biggest challenge for space is always money. But I'm sure you're not asking for money, but you're asking for contents. What are the biggest challenges contents-wise? And for me it is, we know that uh, we can use satellite data for different purposes. For crisis uh, investigation, we can use it for uh, in environmental aspects, etc., etc. And for me, the biggest challenge is in future to make a fusion of the different data coming from different sources, from different sat satellites. And the idea is to get by using the data from different satellites that the sum of one plus one is not two, but more than that. Our strategy is based on three pillars. Mainly, the, namely the first one is just the national activity. We have a national space program, a national Earth observation program. Then on the European scale we have ESA, the European Space Agency and the European Commission. And the third pillar is the world. That means collaboration, cooperation with partners all over the world. And we are using these three pillars in different ways. That means science as well as industry in order to get more success, to get more results for human mankind. This was a DLR webcast.